Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sibley Monday. Welcome to Lively Lifestyle. Where I share with you inspirations based on godly principles, simple DIYs, baking tips, and tutorials. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell button to get updates whenever I post new videos. So today in my kitchen, I want to share with you some baking tips I have learned in my baking journey. So keep watching. first thing to do when baking the cake is preparation preparation is very important preparation prepare everything make sure you have everything you need for your baking process first we'll be preparing it's uh, our ingredients get our ingredients the right measurement measurement is key having the proper measurement for your ingredients is very important so that's where comes our measuring cup these are my three important measuring cups there's a one cup, a half cup, the quarter cup. They are very important. Measuring spoon is also very important. You need this for your baking. This measuring cup is very good when you're measuring dry ingredients. And it can also be used for wet ingredients because it has the meals on them. And I think another best measuring cup is the glass measuring cup, which is used for measuring wet ingredients. And also you need your skill your weighing skill is an electronic skill is also very important to get the right measurements for your um, baking and measurement is very important because if you don't get your measurement right it will affect the outcome of your cake so every size of cake has its measurement and with practice you get to know which size and which measurement to use for which size of pan as you go ahead and also another tip you should know is this your ingredient all has to be at room temperature especially those things you keep in your fridge like your butter your egg your milk if you are using i'm using an evaporated milk for this recipe so all has to be at room temperature so bring out your butter from the fridge if this is a very important tip to also take note of your ingredients being at room temperature receiving your dry ingredients is very important save all dry ingredients having your ingredient all set and ready to bake you are sure of not missing out anything so measure your ingredients save your flour or your dry ingredient baking powder salt and um, depending on the recipe you are using if you're making a chocolate cake saving your cocoa powder and make sure your ingredients are properly measured and set ready for your baking tip number three it's still about preparation yeah prepare your pan just butter in the sides and down of your pan then I take a parchment paper, I use a baking paper, a parchment paper, whichever one. Usually I want to get the diameter. So I fit in the parchment paper into my pan. Here's one way to fit in the parchment paper into your pan. So just fold it into two, fold it into two, and fold it into two again. You take it at a tip, the folded end, after folding it into two, take it at this tip, and you fold it again into a triangle as you can see into a triangle can you see this you see that one side is shorter so you also you can also go another fold it again into another triangle yeah the final triangle so we want to get the mid part of our pan Locate the center of your pan, inside your pan, the center, and just fold it this way to the, to the other end. So this is that, that's it. So then I bring it out. You can see this side, the folded side. I just trim it off with my scissors. Then I open it. And that's how you line your baking tin. Very simple, very fast. Yeah. So 
yeah it's okay they are good to go like this so, okay so another um thing you do is to i sprinkle um flour at the side of my pan just to not to make the cake stick to the side of your pan this is one way i prepare my pan though there are some recipes that don't call for you buttering the side of your pan like chiffon cake you set your pans aside the next preparation tip we need to do is our oven preheat your oven very important i never used to think this was so important until i started doing then i realized the importance of preheating the oven preheating the oven helps you your cake bake properly in the right temperature you don't just um turn on your oven and sliding your cake in most cakes bake at 180 degree Celsius yeah that's 375 degree Fahrenheit okay so I majorly I bake my cake at 180 170 180 degree so preheat your oven to 180 degree before you start mixing by the time you are done mixing your oven is ready it's preheated then you start baking and you set your time and yeah you're good to go your cake bakes at the right temperature and bakes well okay so the next tip preheat your oven we are going to preheat our oven so we are going to preheat our oven that's my temp temperature i turn it on the temperature knob of the oven to about 180 degree then i'll turn on the oven so ensure you bake at the middle rack at the middle rack yeah sorry one two three okay this pan is going off i'm not making it now. i'm making i'm going to let my oven freeze while i start mixing next tip when mixing when you add the flour, add it bit by bit. Add your flour bit by bit and alternate with your milk. So for this recipe, I'm using buttermilk. Do not overmix. After adding the flour, don't overmix. If you are mixing with your hand, don't overmix. Now bake your cake in a preheated oven. That's baking tip for today. Eat, bake your cake, allow your cake to bake for the specified amount of time. So depending on the size of the cake, depending on the, how big or small the cake is. So a minimum of, I'm baking a minimum of 35 minutes to 40 minutes. So set your timer and don't open the oven. Do not open the oven until your cake is ready until your timer stops um one consequences for opening your oven before the cake is ready is that your your butter will stop rising and it will deflate it's advisable to allow your cake to bake for the specified amount of time do not open the oven to avoid stories that touch so those are the tips i have for you today i hope you find them useful if you do please like this video share this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you have any questions comments just leave it in the comment section below i'll respond to them and don't forget turn on the bell button so when i post a video you will get notified thank you for watching see you in my next video bye